All right, so in today's video, we're going to take the next step and we're going to set up the Wi-Fi on the GWN 7001 router and we'll be pairing a GWN access point as well. Let's get to it. Okay, similar to the last video, we are using the same setup, but this time we've added the access point to the mix. So we have the GWN 7001 router, the GWN 7801P PoE switch, and we've added today the GWN 7660 Wi-Fi access point. Now I did set this access point back to factory settings, back to factory default. So you can see the lights are purple. Hopefully you can see that in the video. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna get this access point paired to the GWN 7001 router. The router is going to act as the master controller for all the APs in this setup. So let's jump over now to the router and we'll get things configured. So let's take a look real quick, just recap before we start configuring the access point and the Wi-Fi. Let's like take a look at the network settings and recap what we did in the last video. So we set up the networks here. You see I have a main network on 192.168.80.1. I have a guest network set up on VLAN 20 and the IP address is 192.168.20.1. And then we also have an IoT network set up on VLAN 30 at 192.168.30.1. Now we have everything that we set up here matching on the switch side as well. And again, if you didn't see those prior two videos, I'll put links to those videos up above. All right, now let's get started with the configuration of the access point. The first thing we're gonna do is pair it. So let's come over to the left menu and we'll click on AP Management and we're gonna select access points. And you can see here it says no AP device, please select pair or take over AP. So with the 7660 set back to factory default, it should show up if I click on pair AP. In order to do this, the firmware version on the AP has to be 1.0.23.25. If it's too low, you need to upgrade your access point before pairing. So I've already updated the access point. You can see here it's on 1.0.25.7. So we're good to go. So let's go ahead and let's select the GWN 7660 and we're going to go ahead and say save. Now I'm cutting back to the overhead so you can see the lights are blinking. The access point is provisioning. And when the lights stop blinking, the access point lights should be solid blue. And there we go. Okay, let's cut back to the computer now. Now that we have paired the access point, and yep, it was that simple, let's come over and create some SSIDs. Let's go ahead now and add our first Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna add three. We're gonna add a Wi-Fi network for the mainland. We're gonna add a guest Wi-Fi network and an IoT Wi-Fi network. So let's go ahead and click the Add button. First thing we want to do under basic information is enable the Wi-Fi and we'll call this main Wi-Fi and we'll call it for now for the purpose of this video main Wi-Fi test. We are not going to associate it with a VLAN. We'll leave it set to dual band. Let's click on access security and let's give it a password. So again, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to give it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Please use a stronger password in production. We're not going to enable the captive portal. Let's come down to device management. And we just want to make sure that it is selecting the GWN 7660 and by default it is. So we'll go ahead and we will say save. And now we're just going to repeat that. We're going to add two more SSIDs. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the guest network. So we're going to enable the Wi-Fi. We'll call this guest Wi-Fi test. Now we are going to associate this one with a VLAN, so we'll enable that. And from the drop down menu, let's go ahead and click the guest VLAN, which is VLAN 20. I'm going to set the guest VLAN to dual band as well, and we'll give it the password of 12345678. Again, please use a stronger password in production. Come down and check device management, make sure that the access point you wish to associate with this SSID is selected and click save. Now we have our two SSIDs. We're going to create one more. We're going to hit the add button. We'll enable the Wi-Fi. We'll call this IOT. Again, we'll 
enable associated VLAN, and this time we're going to select from the drop down the IoT VLAN, which is VLAN 30. And for IoT, most of the IoT devices that I'm familiar with are 2.4 only, so we will just set that as a 2.4 network. Again, we'll give it a password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, for simplicity purposes, and then confirm that the GWN7660 has been selected, and we're going to go ahead and say save. Okay, so now we have our three SSIDs created. We have our access point, which is paired. So we're not done yet, though. The access point is actually plugged into the GWN7801 on switch port 4. So we have to go over now to the switch and just make one minor change so that the VLAN traffic is passed to the access point. So let's click on switching. We're on the switch interface now. We're going to come down to VLAN. And we're going to go into VLAN 20. And we just want to make sure that we tag port 4 so that the VLAN 20 traffic is passed along to port 4. We're going to click on OK and then save. And we're going to do the same thing for VLAN 30. We just want to make sure that we tag so that the VLAN 30 traffic is passed along to switch port 4. Let's say OK. And save. And now if we really quick take a look at the port members, we could see that port 4 is set trunk and it's passing VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. So now we should be good to go. All right, so now that we have the Wi-Fi access point paired and we have the SSIDs created. Let's go ahead and try to connect to each SSID, see if we're issued the IP address in the proper network and see if we can ping out to the internet. So let's start off by coming up to the Wi-Fi settings and under other networks. Hopefully we will see. Yep, there they are. Let's check the main test first. So the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if we can get connected. And we are connected. Let's go over to our system settings. Let's check on the network. And let's click on Wi-Fi. And let's go to here you can see we have the green bullet. We're connected to main Wi-Fi test. We should get an address in the 80.1 network. So here we have an IP address of 192.168.80.209. We should be able to, at this point, be able to ping out to the Internet. So let's give that a shot. Let's ping out the Cloudflare. And you can see we're getting a successful response, a successful ping. Great. Okay, let's swap Wi-Fi networks. Let's click on to the guest now. Here's the guest Wi-Fi test. Again, the password, it's on my other screen. Let me just bring it up so you can see me putting it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, please use stronger passwords in actual production. This is just for the purpose of this video. Let's join. Let's hop over back to the settings. Let's take a look at network. It says Wi-Fi is connected. Let's click on that. You can see we're connected to the guest Wi-Fi. We have a nice green dot. Let's click on details. And we have an address in the 192.168.20. Well, the address is 163, but we're in that 20 network, which is the guest VLAN 20 network. So let's go ahead and click OK, and we'll bring up another ping tool. And again, we will ping out to Cloudflare. And again, you can see we're getting a successful ping. Let's go ahead now, finally connect to the last network. With those two working, I'm assuming the last one should be fine. Let's click on the Wi-Fi. Let's click on IoT. Now, I didn't name it IoT Wi-Fi Guest like I did the other two, but this is the IoT network. And again, the password is 12345678. 
looks like we're connected. Let's jump over to the system settings one last time. Let's click on network and Oh, there we go. Okay, so it says Wi-Fi, no IP address. That's interesting. There we go, Wi-Fi connected. Let's go to, we're connected to IoT. Let's go to details. And you can see here now we have an address in VLAN 30, 192.168.30.163. And again, finally, let's go ahead and ping out to Cloudflare one last time. And you can see we're getting a response. All right, so getting the access point paired to the router was a real breeze. The router will be acting as the master controller, as I said earlier. We got our SSID set up. We got our VLAN configuration working properly between the router and the switch. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please click this video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching.